Did you ever not want to go to class because you had a bad hair day and you thought everyone would make fun of you? Did you ever have a pimple on your face and it made you so insecure because you thought that everyone would notice it? If this has ever been the case, don't worry, you're not ugly. Or at least not that ugly. And people were not laughing with you. You, my friend, are suffering from the spotlight effect. Welcome to Brains Applied. The spotlight effect was first defined in 1999 by Thomas Gilovich and Kenneth Savitsky. And it is defined as a tendency of people to overestimate the extent to which others notice aspects of one's appearance or behavior and the extent to which they are aware of it. This effect is an extension of two other cognitive phenomena. The first one is the false consensus effect. This bias states that, in general, humans tend to overestimate the extent to which other people share their opinion. Humans are social beings and we always try to fit in with the group. Because we want to be normal, we like to think that other people share our opinion. And this is why we create an imaginary consensus in our mind of what is normal, so that in most cases, we can feel better about ourselves. But when we feel somewhat insecure about ourselves, for example, because of a stain on our shirt, we assume that other people will think it's weird or disgusting as well, even though they probably don't even notice. The second effect is the anchoring and adjustment effect. This effect states that people will change their judgment based on initial information that they get because they don't have a frame of reference. For example, I'm a car salesman and I tell you that a car is worth $10,000. Now you don't know a lot about cars, but you do know that I am a cheeky salesman. So you don't agree with me, but instead you offer me a solid $7,000 to negotiate. Now let's say I offered you the same car for $7,000. In this case, there is a big chance that you still wouldn't agree with me and that you would offer me $5,000 as you have no clue what a car is worth. In the same way, we are more likely to set our own insecurities as a baseline for what other people will think of us. It's a bit of egocentrism that we have. We focus on one aspect, one stain, one pimple of ourselves and therefore we think that other people will do the same. In case you don't believe me, let me give you an example of probably the weirdest thing that I have ever done. One of my best friends is a DJ. He's a good DJ, but he's not very famous. Like 600 people would be a big venue. And a few weeks ago, me and some other friends thought that it would be pretty funny if people started throwing bras at him while he was DJing, like people would do with famous DJs or famous rock stars. Uh, why did we think it was funny? Well, because we have a really bad sense of humor. So I went to a clothing store, the cheapest clothing store there is, um, and I went there to buy bras on my own. So you have to imagine this is a, it's a cheap clothing store, it's called Primark, but it's also really big and it's really crowded. So I walked in there to the ladies department and I was standing there picking bras next to seven ladies. And they didn't bat an eye. I walked back through the entire store. I stood in line at the cash register for five minutes. People in front of me, people behind me. No one stared at me. No one looked at me. No one cared. I, I am a 22 year old guy, I'm 1 meter 93. I was standing there on my own with a few bras. And no one gave a shit, no one even noticed. Even the lady at the cash register, she didn't care. She didn't give a single fuck. And that is how much people care about you. There is 7 billion people on this planet and the truth is that 
most people won't even notice you. Most people won't even care. It doesn't matter. You are suffering from the spotlight effect. And that is all I wanted to tell you today. I hope you liked this video, if you did press the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you receive a 100% free notification next time when I upload a new video. That won't be next week because I'm going to Denmark this weekend and I'm not returning before Tuesday so I don't have time to do my research and to make a new video. So I will see you in two weeks if you don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I will see you guys later.